Hello everybody, welcome back to our PTZ Optics vlog number 35. Woo, up to 35. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, so it's Tech Chat with Matt, and Matt has forged a cool new relationship with a company called Ziptonite. They have one of the industry's only peer-to-peer -peer video conferencing solution. It's a very secure platform they've built here, and as we know, with all the recent news going on, security is becoming more of a really popular topic. Um, and Ziptonite's a really nice way that people can kind of put themselves into a very secure situation. Um, Dropbox yeah. got hacked. Yeah, I mean, ev ev everybody, everybody's, everybody's, getting, everybody's hacked. getting hacked. Um. I mean, it's like cyber warfare out there. <laughs> and finally, we've got some people in America, in New York City, on the show right now, live. We're going to interview them, ask them some questions. This could be a game changer. Yeah, yeah, it really could. This is some exciting new software. It's so easy to use. Um, and with some business plans in the, uh, the forefront or the future forum, I think this could be a really nice splash. So we'd like to introduce Harry Hursty. Harry, how you doing today? Oh, sorry, sorry, we had you on mute there. How you doing? <laughs> All right, there. Hey, Harry. How are you? Good. Um, I guess let's start by asking you, Harry, what do you do at Zip tonight? I'm Chief Technology Officer. I'm actually the guy who came up with the idea and have been following this technology for a while. So decided this is the right time. The technology is mature enough to start a real service uh, on top of the WebRTC. Yeah, 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 because when WebRTC launched, it, you know, it was definitely a rough beginning, I would say. It had so much potential, but yeah, now that it's fleshed out a little bit more, uh, there's a lot more potential there. And let's not ig ignore the, uh, the person next to you here. That's uh, Maggie McAlpine. How are you doing today? Yeah. Thanks for setting this all up for us. No problem. Anyway, sorry, Harry, didn't want to cut you off. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. So, yeah, WebRTC really is a, a technology which has been around since uh, 2011, uh, basically the first time, 2009. I think it's now starting to be ready for a prime time, but there's still so many features which are up and coming. So it has a ways to go, and we will, we're very excited to see what all new features become available with WebRTC developing even further. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely exciting times for the uh, communication space at this point. Um, so one of the biggest things with Zip tonight really is the secure platform. I mean that uh, without a doubt, there's tons of other little things we could really chat about. But what I feel like really differentiates you guys is this strong focus on security. Um, could you just speak a little bit about you know maybe a key feature or two that you feel really kind of differentiates you guys? The main feature is that we are serverless. Uh, the communication between the parties, whether it's a one-to-one -one or a one-to-many, so a group call, uh, the information passes through no servers ever. And that is a main feature. Uh, mainly, everybody else is doing a server-based audio video mixing. Uh, the messages go through a server, which allows you to do nice features like store and forward. Unfortunately, because we don't have servers, we don't have store and forward, which means that if I go to airplane and I'm sending a message and you are an airplane and when you land, I'm, I'm out, then uh, the message doesn't come through and we both are online at the same time. But the benefit is no one needs to know and no one knows uh, that the message ever passed through. Yeah. Yeah. Which is beautiful. It really is. Um, so before we get too much into the technical stuff, <laughs> let's take a 10,000 foot overview. <laughs> just remember, a lot of people don't know who Zip the Night is at all, right? So can we just like do the most dumbed down for just a little bit? And I do want to get into the technical, technical weeds here, <laughs> but really far back. Maggie, why don't you explain just high level, what is Zip the Night? Um, I would say Zip the Night is a answer to, you know, Skype and all of the other video hangouts of the world, which are um, sort of insecure and they're sort of, storing people's information, which opens them up to breaches, but it also opens them to surveillance. We are answering that with kind of like, imagine if Skype was built today with the most new and cutting edge technology, also peer to peer, also, um, you know, really high quality, of course, for the time it was high quality. Now we're like, we're focusing on video quality, we're focusing on audio quality, we're focusing on um, using the latest technology and leveraging it to create a new and exciting uh, video conferencing and chat and audio product. 
Perfect. Uh, that makes sense. So, so it's a video conferencing product basically built from scratch, which is what so many companies need to do. Yeah. You know, it's like GoToMeeting has been building on this platform forever. I have friends at GoToMeeting. But sometimes you just got to build it from scratch again. Yeah. And yeah. start over. Yeah, when you rehash old code, there's all sorts of oddities that leak their way in, unfortunately. Um, and it, it gets forgotten about a lot of the time. So it's really refreshing, you know, to find a company that's looking at this from the right, the right angle. There's two other things. Another one is that we are finally realizing the danger of metadata. So again, engineering this from scratch, not only the privacy and security like end-to-end -end encryption in mind, but also taking the metadata out of the picture so that doesn't come to haunt you. The other thing is, and this is something which was completely impossible a few years ago, having this whole thing without in a, in a desktop environment without any installed software. Yes. So that again, any installed software always becomes a target for malware. Uh, in a gaming environment especially, uh, having an audio software malware is one of the major ways of putting malware spying your accounts and taking your account out of your hands. Uh, again, not having the install software takes that target away. Yeah. yeah, I mean, every aspect of this is just so beautiful. In fact, one of the, the, the little oddities I didn't notice until I started using it on my mobile device and the desktop, I absolutely love how it limits it to one device at a time. Um, it really, really makes me feel like nobody else is going to be gaining it. You know, even if I leave my PC somewhere, nobody else is really going to be able to gain access. It's fantastic. Why don't we do a little uh, tour of the software? Um, because we yeah. are, I, I don't know if, you know if we mentioned this yet, but we're using Zip tonight right now. And it looks great. Quality looks awesome. Let's take a look at the software. And why don't you just give us a little tour here and just tell me what you want me to show off. All right. Maybe. Okay. Well, if you want, you can start with probably just the main page there. Uh, once you're in the product, it's app.zipnight.com. And as Hari mentioned, one of the real benefits of this being browser-based, at least on the desktop, is if you ever get like an invitation to a meeting with Zip Tonight and somebody says, uh, go download it here to your desktop, you know automatically that it's uh, a bad sign. It's like a malware attempt or something, because there's no software to download whatsoever. Um, and also that means it's always updated too, so nobody could maliciously insert uh, bad code into a false update. Hmm. So, um, we were typing a message here. So, all right, so this is, I think right now what you're looking at is the settings, you're looking at um, primary yeah. personal information, password, your account status, if you need to cancel your account, which I hope you don't. <laughs> Um, and uh, there's the up there in the corner, there's the search uh, for other people online. It's still pretty much that you oh, this button, yep. up. okay, got uh, it. Yeah, again, it's still, pretty, it's still pretty simple. We're hoping to add things like uh, screen sharing and whatnot, but even then, we're really putting a focus on ease of use. Yeah, um, very glad to hear that. Uh, and one of the important features there uh, down next to your uh, name, which is uh, the a uh, paper clipper which allows you to send oh, files to again this is a file transfer which has no servers involved you can send a file to counterparty it goes directly from your device to the receiver's device and to an encrypted with absolutely no whatsoever uh storage or metadata being available to anyone that was super fast too it didn't even like upload it just went yeah, because it's a UDP-based system. Uh, first of all, it's a lower overhead, so it actually gets better bang for the buck because there's there's a less overhead on the data channel. Uh, so that's that's one thing. The other thing is obviously it doesn't need to upload to the server and then separately download from the server to here. Instead, it goes uh, larger the file is. The bigger the benefit is that you don't have to wait for the first phase to stop and end before the second phase can start. Wow. Beautiful. Super cool. Well, um, here's a here's something that we definitely need to talk about. So this software is free. Like, is that, that what are the plans here? Because currently it's completely free, right? So our main market is business to business market. Uh, so we are giving this uh, consumer facing product for free, and, and this is our showcase. It allows our prospective customers to try it, use it, use it in their personal life. And then uh, what we do, our business is, is, is integration 
to a corporate website integration to a various of backend systems. So that's where our business then is. Excellent. Let's talk a little bit about that idea because we deal with video conferencing. It's our job. This is what we do. We know our customers. We know healthcare professionals, business professionals, education market, all these markets. And WebRTC has so uh, – we've seen it from Vidtel in 2005 who was really starting – or was it more like 2010? Yeah, it was, it was like 2011 finally, they were starting to play with it, I think. But we've been watching this technology for the past six years with eager interest. In fact, we even tried to do our own Jitsi server one time, uh, which completely failed <laughs> <laughs> miserably. But we've seen it happen. Let's talk a little bit, Matt, about like, like specifically like the finance industry, the banking industry, the people who are really going to want this software. We'll, let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because we definitely think for a lot of our clients, you know, whether it's from our integration side or e-commerce side, this is these are the questions they ask us, you know, about security, about encryption, about all these things. And we really think your your solution is going to be really a wonderful thing for them. So I would I would start by pointing out that there's two different, uh, vastly different areas, uh, how a business is. Uh, re, uh, view privacy and 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 uh, recording. So in financial industry, you are required uh, at certain points of time to record the transaction and record the the interaction with your client. Uh, again, since this is serverless, there is no server in between which can record a call. However, both endpoints, uh, both you and me, we can as an endpoint, uh, record a call. So basically what we allow there for a customer is to record the relevant part of whole call, whole call if you want, uh, in your endpoint and store it directly to your corporate uh, data storage and re data retention systems, the same which you use for any other transaction data which uh, which bank is, is, is storing. So that is our approach to comply with the regulatory environment. And especially when you look at the current legislation for money laundering, which requires banks to identify and know their customers. Again, European Union and Switzerland pass a law which allows a video calling to be used instead of physical visit to the branch office. Video call to be used in a customer boarding and a customer identification process. But by the way, these are an hour long calls. Uh, so that's how long it takes for some of the Switzerland to get new customer in a proper way uh, interviewed for, uh, for by the bank. Wow. That's another side. The other side is uh, if you think about uh, attorneys, if you think about medical doctors, now you all of a sudden are in an environment where the existence of a metadata is something which can be misunderstood. Uh, if you call the best HIV doctor in town, it might be that you call him to ask him for a beer because it's an old friend of yours. However, the metadata itself can be staining you uh, and really badly. So in that environment, the confidentiality and privacy is the key, uh, allowing you to have a conversation which are completely private and, and a possible deniability never happened. Then we have in uh, the uh, important part of uh, transmitting data. So think about a, a process of new student international student uh, enrolling to university. All of a sudden in that process, you have to send a copy of your passport. You have to send your financial data for, for uh, scholarships. You have to send a huge amount of sensitive data over the lines. And again, as we all know, there's a number of uh, a state operated firewalls. There's a lot of uh, different systems on, on, the, on the way. So you really don't want to uh, leave uh, any trace of that data into the uh, into the unknown servers on the way. So this is allows you to transfer that sensitive data from you to your your counterpart uh, securely and privately. Wow. Yeah, everything about this just uh, it seems like it's just a matter of time. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned that the education market, and we're we are one of the things I did want to mention too. I got a couple more questions for you, but um, you can see here that. Uh, December 16th, we are planning to have a full interview and go over the whole software with Zip tonight. So uh, this is really just a short interview to kind of give everyone a taste of what to expect on December 16th when we do that full live interview. 
Um, one question, though, for the education market is, I don't know if you ever heard of virtual classrooms or virtual um, you know, after-hours meeting spaces. WebRTC seems so ideal for something like that where an uh, educator can meet with people all around the world and online learning is so big. Are you just focused on like really secure business and financial industries or are you cuz video conferencing spreads the whole market? Are you just focused on highly 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 secure stuff or do you see yourself doing custom projects for universities and colleges in the education space? Uh, we definitely see custom projects for educational purposes and this is all I mean you made a brilliant point. This is all about an industry specific solutions. Every industry they have has their own needs, uh, their own approach, their own challenges. Uh, for example, the voice quality issue, if your classroom is about educating foreign language, uh, you cannot use a telephone uh, equivalent uh, quality of voice uh, and deliver a good experience to your students. So yes, we, we look to all the, uh, the uh, uh, different industries and, and we, what we want to do also is that our customer facing uh, people on our sales side and our business development side are specifically understanding that industry and the challenges that industry and that use cases, those use cases have, so that we can best customize and serve them and give, deliver the best possible solution. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, because I, I mean, I guess we've been talking so much about the security, I've kind of forgotten to really mention the ease of use that this platform really offers. Um, you know, even if security wasn't your own personal driven focus, it's still a wonderful platform, the security taken out of the equation. It's just the video and audio quality. You know, if I'm focusing on other aspects, what this platform really brings to the table beyond security is fantastic. Um, yeah, I... I education market just seems perfect and the ability to customize for them i i can't wait to see this develop into more things yeah speaking of ease of use i think i think that's something that everybody in the security industry understands is a truism which is that security is usually on the sliding scale on the other side of convenience like it would be more convenient to leave the front door of your house open all the time <laughs> but it's obviously not very secure um <laughs> One thing that we really thought of going into Zip tonight was that we wanted to make sure that it was a tool, because the reason people don't often use secure tools is because they are more complicated and difficult to use. We wanted to create a tool that would be easy to use so we can begin to sort of integrate security more naturally into people's lives without them requiring to jump through tons and tons of hoops to do so. Yeah, that, it is amazing. It, it really is. It. I mean, I know I've read about the security, you guys. Obviously, I don't know all the details about what's really going on in the background, but the ease of use just completely blew me away. There was no multiple hoops to jump through every single time I went to log. It just worked and it was easy. Um, so guys, I hate to be the one who's saying time, 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 but that is my job. <laughs> guys, we're almost at 20 minutes here. We've got a whole webinar dedicated to this topic, October 16th. Any last remarks you want to make? Uh, I think we're good. You guys are really great hosts. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Having us. Oh, thank you. You know, we've got a re this is just the, the prelude here. Um, <laughs> what I would say is anyone who's watching this on YouTube, leave your comments below. We will answer all of your questions December 16th on the live show where we're going to have a live show on YouTube live, yeah. a live Q&A. It's really the chance to ask these guys more questions about this upcoming show. If you guys can hold on for a minute, we will see you after the show is over just to say a goodbyes. Everyone watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the tech chat with Matt, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, everybody.